pop in frame real quick? <laughs> yeah, watch when you roll. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> Almost ran over our product we we're talking about. Yeah. So if you watch my OM4 video, I actually didn't go over one of the most asked questions we're getting in our inbox right now. Does the OM4 work with the moment lenses in the moment case? And the answer? It does. It does. For the most part. Yeah, we'll get to that soon. <laughs> so the reason why I didn't go over it in that video is because you have two ways to mount your phone to the OM4. One is this way, which is the, I guess, magnet clamp is what you yeah, would call it. Yeah. And it simply goes like this, snaps on, boom. Pretty straightforward. And the other way is to literally permanently marry your phone to just this part. So they give you a magnet without the clamp and a sticker that you stick onto the back of the phone, which limits your wireless charging, which you can't put a case on. I couldn't put it on my GPS clamp in my car. So that's why I didn't do it in the video because I didn't realize I wouldn't be able to actually showcase a moment lens with that on there. So we're catching you up to speed here with actually talking about how to use a moment lens with the OM4, the counterweights, blah, 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 to set all that up. And Spencer's actually the one behind these counterweights right here, which attach <laughs> looks so weird without a phone. I know, right? Maybe I should just... <laughs> Anyways, how do we balance this thing? Uh, so balancing the Osmo 4, or OM... <laughs> <laughs> Got him! It's gonna, uh... <laughs> so what we're doing to balance the OM4 is we're basically looking at the gimbal like a seesaw. So the side with the, the lens is one side of the seesaw, and the side with the counterweight is the other side of the seesaw. Because you have mashed weights, it's very easy to keep them in the air and balanced, versus if you didn't have the counterweight, you'd have to basically be like picking this side up and keeping it balanced. So that's kind of what we're doing with the counterweight, is we're turning the gimbal from an unbalanced seesaw, which has all its weight on one side, into a more balanced seesaw by adding some weight and that means that the motors don't have to work as hard because they're not effectively having to pick this thing off the ground and keep it in the air. All they're doing is just having to keep things in the air. So with that, not everything works perfect. Almost everything does. So we have a full chart that we'll link below that'll have info on what works really well, what works okay so that the phone like you can balance it, but it might hit the gimbal in a couple situations. And then the few scenarios where it just doesn't work, either it is actually too heavy or the case itself doesn't fit in the clamp. With that, let's look how to actually do it. Cool. So first things first, I like to put the clamp actually on the gimbal. Uh, next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my phone. So here we're using an iPhone 11. Pro, 11 Pro, yep. Next thing, I'm gonna throw the lens on there and see if I can get it to kind of balance. I already know I can't, um, so we need a counterweight. I'm gonna grab the counterweights here. Um, in most cases, when you need a weight, you need at least two, but in a few, there's just, you only need just one. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is make sure it's squared up in the clamps. So looking here, we can kind of see it's a little cockeyed. That's better though. Um, and then I'm gonna hold this uh, pitch motor here and just see if I can get it to lay and stay straight in the tilt axis, or the roll axis, excuse me. And look in there, that looks to be pretty solid. That's what we're looking for, is we want it to just sit on its own. I'm not touching it on the back here. I'm only touching that motor. And that's balanced. So we're gonna turn everything on, fire it up. Boom. Ready to rumble. On the OM4 compatibility chart, we have three different grades. One is it works. One is it mostly works, but sometimes the phone could like run into the gimbal. And then three is it just doesn't work at all. So in reverse order, something that doesn't work at all would be our wallet cases, for example. So because of how thin this clamp is, if you were to put it on over the wallet, it really doesn't grab well, and it might come off, especially if you have a card in there. As well, the wallet is gonna add some more weight, which we really don't wanna do in this case. So for that instance, a wallet case would be an example of something that just doesn't work. Next, you'd have something that works most of the time, but it can hit the gimbal. So this is an iPhone XS Max. Um, we'll need all of the weights that we can fit, which is actually three of the counterweights. DGI changed some geometry. So as you can see in there, there the gap isn't really big enough for the fourth counterweight, unfortunately, but 
still works for our purposes here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is balance, like work on balancing this like I would any other phone. So right there, that's pretty much balanced. But what I mean by it could hit the gimbal in some ways is that, so this range of motion is pretty clear, but coming back that way, it actually runs into the gimbal. Um, and if we fire this up, we can see that it's not really that much of a use case when you would actually have that happen, but it is possible. So if you were filming like really low angle stuff, like there's some times you can kind of get it to contact right there. Um, again, not something you're probably gonna run into that often, but we want to let people know and be up front with that. So lastly, we have a phone that does work with counterweight, um, full clearance, all that good stuff, which is the iPhone 11 Pro. I'm gonna throw this guy in here. Got the three counterweights in there as well. Dial that in. And then what this is gonna do, I'm gonna get that balanced. So as you can see there, balanced. And if I rotate the phone around, it's not hitting anywhere which is awesome, which means we've got full clearance to do whatever the gimbal will allow us to do. And there you have it. And then on that compatibility chart, we left out things like the filter mounts and the lens mounts. And this is purposeful because adding those in adds a bunch of weight in the wrong place. So it adds it all onto one side of the seesaw, making that side even heavier. So mm -hmm. if you're gonna run a lens or a 37 millimeter filter on your phone in the Osmo 4, the OM4, you do need to run a moment case with it. And whatever phone you have, whatever combo you're looking for, you can find that on the compatibility chart, which like we said, is linked below. Um, any concluding thoughts? Go enjoy your OM4. Go it's film. It's a pretty rad piece of hardware. But yeah. Yeah. Hope it helps. And if you have any questions, reach out. What's the hello at shop moment? Yep. Hello at shop moment.com. Spencer and I will be there to answer your question almost immediately. At any time of the day. Yeah. Any day of the week. Here's my phone number.